These are two positive crankcase uh, ventilation valves. They both came out of a uh, 2010 Honda CRV. And the one over here to the right, this is an aftermarket part from AutoZone. And this is the original one that I removed or, uh, before I installed that one. So I'm going to show you how to test if these valves are, are working properly and also how to clean them. These valves are normally like a one-way valve and um, normally the way it works is it, air it should be allowed in this direction or pressure should be allowed to flow in that direction but when pressure is, is comes in this direction it shouldn't it shouldn't allow it to go through uh, because um, obviously you don't want uh, to build up pressure in your engine or uh, too much pressure in your engine and this side is the one that is connected to your uh, crankcase and uh, this one is going to go to your intake so what what you normally what people normally do is they want to make sure uh, they want to check if this is actually stuck inside and the way you can check is the the piece inside the valve should be able to move so you shake this and you can hear the clicking noise so that metal piece is actually free inside which is a good sign it doesn't mean that it's working uh, properly but it means that it's free which is a good sign now let's try this one see you hear the clicking now but it's not as loud as that one so next the way that you can test if these valves are actually working properly is you can use a balloon and what you do with the balloon is you grab the valve I'll show you an example of it so I'll take this this valve and I'm gonna cover this side remember air should be able to flow this way but not back that way and it should be pretty sealed all around because of the balloon uh, is compressing or against it so it should be pretty sealed now so you wrap the napkin around see so wrapped around that exposed and I'm gonna blow on that end this balloon is it looks like it's holding its shape it looks like it's holding air but the balloon is shrinking little by little I don't know if you can hear that but it's actually there's a hissing sound on this PCV valve it's allowing air to go through and the balloon is losing air so that's the issue that I have with this PCV valve yeah, this PCV valve is, uh, is allowing air to to go through here. So that means that uh, this is a bad PCV valve. Now what we can do is try to clean it and see if we can fix the issue. And I'm going to redo the whole process. And this is now with the original PCV valve. After blowing on it, here's the balloon. Same thing. Look at the tip here. I don't see anything happening, any bubbles or anything. It's not air is not escaping. Balloon remains the same shape. So that tells you that this valve is actually working in that direction. Okay, just do this in the well ventilated ventilated area. And uh, I'm I'm gonna use this carb cleaner. Any carb cleaner works. And what you wanna do is you wanna spray it in here. So you see, I pushed it with a. Um, with a little connector there and I'm going to spray in there there you go now you kind of like shake it a little bit and you see how I don't know if you can see that but there's like yellow stuff coming out of it That's and that might be oil because oil gets in there at times again spray it again and spray the other end too. I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit so it can loosen up everything. I'll do the same thing with the other PCV valves. And you shake that one too, the same way as the other one. And do the same thing on this end. Let it sit there so it can soak.
And it looks like we we're on the right track here. We clean off a little bit of stuff from there. Alright, so I think we're done here. And I'm going to see if there's any difference with this valve now that I cleaned it off a little bit. As you can tell, it was a little bit dirty. The valves were a little bit dirty, but take a look at this valve now. So again, we're going to wrap the PCV. Oh, this was the, the one that was working properly, so I'm going to try this one. Now check this out, <clears throat> this is a balloon, I'm going to let go of this tip here so you can hear this, uh, hopefully you can catch it. It's actually allowing the air to escape through this end. Uh, it could be anything, it could be the spring inside because it has a little spring that pushes it up. Um, maybe the spring is weak, um, it could be dirty still, um, but it's not allowing air out of here, and you can hear the hissing sound, the balloon is getting smaller, hear this. See, so basically it allows air out at times and at times it doesn't so there's something wrong with the spring probably in there it's not pushing that that cover plate inside uh, to seal it properly so this is the one that failed on me so cleaning it didn't help um, sometimes the issue with these valves is that over time uh, if you, that little plate if it fits exactly in the middle then it'll block air but then if it if it when it's when the spring pushes it up and it pushes it to a, at a certain um, towards a certain side it allows air through or pressure through and that's when this fails and that's when you need to replace it uh, in this case i cleaned it as much as i could i got whatever i could out of there and it wasn't fixing it so this is um this might have to go to the trash um, however this one this is the oem part uh, the one that came with the vehicle originally after cleaning this uh, it started working again it doesn't click the way that one does uh, this has a lower click and you can still feel things the, the pin inside moving which is good but that's how you clean the PCV valve and um, that's how you test whether the PCV valves are good or bad I uh, hope you learned something take care